Well, a lot. You know, I relished a lot of it, honestly. It's a great, great Stanley's a great character to play. He's a lot of fun. He's also really sweet and sort of correct in things. I think he's always right. Uh, as he certainly believes he is. And working with people like Neil and Darren and Jeffrey who uh, produced the show and wrote the show, it just was, I felt very protected and supported and I had an absolute ball working on this. Right. Yes, exactly, yeah. certainly. The new version was set back in the 60s. Right. What do you make of the way that the series explores that? Well, I think it's, you know, I think it's wonderful, and I also do think it's very true. I certainly have a lot of gay friends who I'm not sleeping with, alas. But, uh, you know, I think it's actually very true. I think we lean on our chosen family in our community, you know, and desperately so. You know, we need each other, and I think this sort of celebrates that and, and really points it up in a great way to say, you know, our friends who, you know, are within the same community know what we are going through even more than most. And there's kind of well developed Yeah. Wow. You know, it's a great question. You know, I'm not young. Uh, and so the things that that were on screen, I remember, you know, it was, it was a lot of AIDS stuff because that's what was going on, Long Time Companion, certainly in early Frost, if we're talking about television, you know, remember that? Uh, I've actually thought a lot about those shows working on this and just how far we've come, you know, that this just seems to be such a universal story, you know, just the fact that people are happen to be homosexuals in it doesn't really... It's not that it doesn't matter, it matters a great deal, but it's just different. It's much more within the mainstream, and I think that's important and wonderful. Uh, it's pretty exciting to be part of a show like Uncoupled that uh, yeah. flawed, funny, queer characters. Oh, there are so many of them that are gone. Um, I don't know. I, you know, there were a lot of little places, little uh, places downtown that when I first came to New York, they were very welcoming to me. And some of them were like piano bars. And, uh, it would be the old duplex, which became Rose's turn on Grove Street. Street. Uh, the, that place was very special to me. It was the first place I went to New York, and I felt like a New Yorker. And I'd be like, "Hey, Brooks," you know, and I missed that place. It's kind of hard to reconcile. Thanks a lot.